It's local edition. I'm Brad Palmer, and thank you so much for joining us. Our guest is Rick Pasqualone. You know him from All My Children, Desperate Housewives. He voices the main character on the video game Mafia 2. Uh, ubiquitous here in Hollywood. We thank you for joining mm -hmm. us. But let's not talk about you for a moment. Okay. Let's talk about um, one of our colleagues, Philip Palmer, an anchor at ABC7, and the remarkable um, thing he did recently. The man is, uh, he's my idol. Yes. He is a, uh, an organ donor, and um, I just uh, can't say enough about the guy and for the event that's coming up right. um, for Children's Hospital Los Angeles. And uh, we're just trying to get the word and out let's here. Let's talk about that. I do want to say, Philip Palmer, I mean, he donated a kidney, not to his dad, not to his brother, just to a friend, mm -hmm. and not even a best friend. Yep. I mean, someone, his name was Dale Davis. I mean, that is a tremendous gift of life. Absolutely, and uh, it was someone in need, and, and Philip uh, you know, had said for a long time this is something he wanted to do, and the opportunity presented itself. And uh, How's he doing, Philip? He's doing great, and, and, Dale? and Dale's doing great, too. So okay, so let's really talk about amazing. Philip's commitment, your commitment to organ donation. As you said, coming up on October 4th at the Angeles National Golf Club in Sunland, California, not too mm -hmm. far, is an event to benefit Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Tell us about it. Uh, well, it's going to be a great event out at uh, Angeles National, which is a beautiful golf course. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, just trying to uh, raise money for the research that's going on at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. And they're really on the forefront of developing the technologies that are going to give the recipients of organ donation just a better quality of life. And, and let's talk about that. We were talking before about how an organ will basically last in a recipient for about half the time it would exactly. if it was in its donor. That's right. Um, for kids, though, that means that if they get a heart at birth, wow. They're looking at possibly two major operations in their lifetime, as well as, right now, a lifetime of taking anti-rejection medication, which is very intrusive. It lowers the immune system, makes you more susceptible to, to colds and to any kind of infections, things that we take for granted. Exactly. But, again, you know, that could in make their life precarious. And what Children's Hospital is working on is the technology to basically make the body accept these new organs more readily. It's, again, another miracle of science. So, Rick, let's talk about the effect. Can anyone go? I mean, can uh, you know, can someone like me, just an ordinary person, show up on October 4th in Sunland, California? Absolutely. That's, that's and what, what will happen? What will we see? And, uh, well, if you show up, we're going we're gonna to make a big splash over you. No. I mean, <laughs> anybody that shows up, that good. Anybody, that gets, anybody that shows up will get treated. Uh, great. It's going to be a wonderful event, and, and you can go to the website, which is phlagolf.org, mm -hmm. and uh, there's there's multiple packages that you can get. You just want to go out and play. You want to go out with a twosome. And then there's also going to be some celebrity guests there. So if you pay a little more, you can, you can golf with Joe Montaigne. Yeah. I love it. D.V. Sweeney. I mean, you got some real heavy hitters there, including yourself. <laughs> Let me ask you, though, Rick. You're a busy guy. Video games, soap operas, primetime programming. What touched you about Philip and this event? Because you can do a lot of different things. Why this one? Uh, again, I think it was just the selflessness of, of the act of, of just giving, and again, not to, not just giving to someone, a family member, I mean, you take that for granted, right? to make a completely selfless act and say, this is someone who needs it, and I can do it, so there it is, and I just went, wow, this is something we could all do. I want to remind our viewers as well, we were talking before about core blood donation, and it's kind of in the same realm. You said that you... You had your the your infant's cord blood bank. Yes. As did I. Uh, it's all part of that whole notion of really planning for the future. Mm -hmm. And if you bank cord blood, that means if that child, well, you tell us. Well, you know, if that if that child ever uh, needs any kind of procedure later in life, like you said, bone marrow, anything, they don't have to wait for a donor. They have that blood stored, and they can use those stem cells to to help them live and right. it's, it's to give them life. R it Rick Pasqualone, I want to thank you so much for joining us. He will be at the Angeles National Golf Club in Southern California October 4th to benefit recipients of organ donation with ABC7's Philip Palmer. I'm Brad Palmer. Thanks for watching Local Edition. Back to HLA.